First we have the models. This is the listing model, this is the bid model, and this is the comment model. Next, we can go to the website, and if we are logged in, we can create a listing. I'll title it Water Bottle, the starting bid of $20, add the link, and we'll add it to the uh, home category. I'm going to add a description and press submit. So after we create the listing, we can go to the active listings page and the listing will show up. All of them have a title, a picture, and the description as a minimum. This is the active listing page which displays all of the listings that are currently active. Next we can go to the listings page. So say I want to go to this listing page. First we can have the option to add it to our watch list. If we add it to our watch list, we can go to our watch list and it will show up here. Next, we can actually remove it from our watch list and it's no longer there. Next, if the user is signed in, we should be able to bid. So let's say I want to bid on this uh, item here. So the starting bid is $15, so let's say I want to place a $20 bid. Now it says that one bid has been placed and that Hermione, which is me, is winning with a bid of $20. But let's say I try a bid that's too small like five dollars and submit it it will give me this warning here next we can uh, close a listing so this listing is one that i listed and we can actually close this listing now if i close the listing it will return a message at the top that shows who has won this auction and it is eight hundred dollars um by ron um, also, if the listing is closed, it will no longer show up here. Then, um, if we go to, say, uh, Ron, log into Ron's account, we can see that it says you have won the auction. Um, because Hermione has actually closed it. Um, then we can place a comment. So let's say I want to go to uh, this water bottle uh, listing. I can, as Ron, cool water bottle, place a comment like this and submit it. And it says Ron, um, and yeah, there you can place a comment. So, next we can go again to watch list. Again, here's the watch list. I can remove it and it will no longer show up. Then we can go to categories. If I go to categories and click on a category, it will give me all of the links to everything in that category. See, this is in, this is in fashion and this is also in fashion. Then finally, we can go to the Django admin. So if I go to slash admin and sign in, it will take me here. So basically, um, you can add or change any of these models. So I want to add one. I can say, um, I want to do another water bottle, um, so water bottle 2, start it at $30, category home, my other water bottle, and I want it to be made by Hermione, I want to save that. I go back to just something else. See this, it will actually show the listing that I just made.